Oh, fuck. I'm back once again with another episode of my first ever Let's Play series. For this episode of my FighterZ Let's Play, I'll be playing as the very infamous Z Villain Trilogy. Or the Villainous Z Trilogy. Yeah. Villainous Z Trilogy. Whatever you want to call them. Because everybody knows it's Frieza, Cell, and Kid Boo. Some of the most iconic villains in anime history. So, let's get to it. So, you know, like the last time with when I mentioned with Bardock and Teen Gohan, like, I practiced like once with Kid Boo for this video. So, if I, if I make it look good, do tell me. Because I'm going to be real with you. I didn't practice that much with Kid Boo. These controls are honestly so easy to adapt to. It's it's very simplistic, yet it's fun at the same time. So it's like, you know, you practice with a character you haven't played before. You haven't played with before in the uh, story mode. In the story mode, you play with the same, the same set of characters throughout the entire thing. Whereas when you play like the arcade or when you play online... Or just play with your buddies it's like you know you, you find some characters that you're used to playing with and then you find some that you know are just entirely new to like everybody knows you can't play as Beerus or Goku Black or Hit in the main story but they're still in they're still on the base disc you know they're I guess non DLC because they came on <laughs> they came on the disc when this game had first had first released. And since you don't play any, uh, play as any of them, you play as them for the first time, you're like, damn. What the fuck are these characters? <laughs> but, yeah, it's... But, like, you know, you do fight Kid Buu in the story mode, but you don't play as him. Because he's, he's just a clone. Yet, yeah, he has, like, the same amount of power that he did in the original Z anime, so it's like, what the fuck, man? But yeah, I honestly found it really fun to play as Kid Boo. So, let's see what you guys think as I go along with this. So, do you remember, do you guys remember when I first introduced the Minimal Effort Sketch? Like, truthfully, this was a risk that I wasn't sure I was ready to take. Because whenever I go into a new project, my first thought is... Is this going to work? Are people going to watch it? Are people going to enjoy it? Because I've, I've gone through so many projects in my time, you know, having a YouTube account. And only very few of them, you know, actually take off. Like, you know, major projects I've done. Some of them are lucky if they see the light of day. Some of them take off some of them don't so when I do when I do have an idea for a major project that's always my first thought like is this gonna take off are people gonna watch this are people gonna enjoy it and I was scared because you know I don't really I didn't really have a lot of major projects to do or like you know my own projects to come up with whenever I finally got that creative spark back that I was telling you guys about in the last couple of episodes. Because all I did was like fucking vlogs and shit. Like vlogs, playthroughs. and Actually, I didn't really do that many playthroughs after... What? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5? I didn't really do that many playthroughs after that game. So, most of it was just like vlogs. Top 5 lists, top 10 lists. You, you get the idea. So... You know, in the month leading up to when I had announced the Minimal Effort Sketch, I asked a couple of friends, like, hey, what do you think I should call this drawing series that I have planned? Like, should I call it, like, Minimal Effort Sketch or something with my name in it? And, like, they gave me some ideas, so I kind of jumbled it together. Because at the time, you know, I had gone, like, six months without touching any of my drawing supplies from my drawing class in college 
And I was like, I really don't want these to just sit in my sit in the corner of my room and collect dust. So I do some thinking. I put together the trailer for this. And I'm thinking, hmm. I'm not that good of a drawing. I'm not that good of a sketch artist, I mean. Drawer. <laughs> Please, I could be talking about clothing for all I know. I'm not that good of a sketch artist. But I'm also not that bad of an editor. And I'm not that bad of a sketch artist either. So, you know, it's like... It's not really a one-way street because, you know, that's, that's two things I just brought up. So I don't know if that applies. But, you know... As I'm making this trailer, as I'm th as I'm shooting the footage for the trailer as well, I was like, you know, I, I got it. Minimal effort sketch. Get it? Because, you know, this isn't, th these aren't drawing tutorials. This is just what I can do. And not only am I showcasing what I can draw, but what I can expand with my editing. So, put the trailer together. And that's when the name hits me, Minimal Effort Sketch. Because obviously I'm not, if, if I'm gonna drop like a teaser trailer or something that hints at like a new project, I'm not gonna reveal the name right away. Cause I want, I want people to be curious about what it is I have planned. Most of the time it doesn't work, but you know, I go ahead and put it out anyway. So yeah, that was the name I settled on. And then I pulled out a fucking be funky photo editor pro like picture that I, I put together for the banner <clears throat> and I was like damn this sounds kind of good it actually has a nice ring to it because I usually don't I usually don't have like like good creative names for a lot of the shit that I do so I put that out a couple of friends were excited some were just like okay cool I mean if you want to do it go ahead and of course, there were some people that were just like, what the fuck is the point? Like, yeah, even if people, you know, do claim to be your friends and you try to ask for support, you're always going to have at least one or two people. Hopefully, you don't ever encounter them again. Just approach you and be like, are you sure this is a good idea? Or don't you think this is embarrassing or some shit? Or like, why do you even do shit like this? Like, I've had so many people like that in the past. And I swear to God, nothing brings me down more than feedback like that. Like, it's not even just feedback. It's honestly fucking insulting. Especially to someone with a creative passion like mine. So, I gotta say, you know, like I said, I, I gotta say, like I said, I was scared to launch this project. Because even to this day, I am incredibly insecure about my drawing skills he goes I'm not a sketch artist I only did it as an elective course in college so upon this realization I decided you know for every season premiere that I do because this, this is not gonna be a limited series type thing as you can tell because I put out the second season this year I was like you know what, I'm going to just explain everything at the beginning of, at every season premiere that I do for this series, I'm going to explain everything. And I did. I told them, this is not a drawing tutorial, because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a sketch artist, I'm not an art major, I'm not an art graduate. This is just what I can do with a drawing pencil, a sketchbook, and some editing software. So please do keep that in mind as I make these videos. And even though I put that out there, I would show this to my friends, I would show this to groups that I'm in, I would be praised for this. And I was grateful for it. Because, you know, somebody who doesn't have an art background, who gets this kind of praise, it's honestly more than what I can handle. But at the same time, I'm super grateful for it. Because... Like, honestly, nothing warms my heart other than people just being upfront with me about my projects. And even, you know, when I when I approached my friends with 
you know, doing a Let's Play series. Like, yeah, they would joke about, like, her, dude, he's gonna do a fucking Let's Play and whatnot. But, you know, they, they were just joking, because obviously they supported the idea. And it was the same thing with Minimal Effort Sketch. Like, I was so damn happy to, you know, launch that project. Every single video, even at my worst sketches, you know, people people would look at them and just be like, this is cool, man. You know, you're doing good. And even some people would give me, like, the most constructive criticism when it came to my sketches. Even though, like, you know, like I said, this isn't a fucking tutorial. I'm not an artist. I'm just doing this shit for fun. And I want you guys to join in on it. So. <laughs> and by constructive criticism, I mean, like, they would literally pinpoint all the shit I did in my drawings that I could improve on. And while I do it, I do appreciate that, you know, I also feel like they don't stick with me the entire series. I mean, the, I mean the people that you know give me those, you know, constructive criticisms. So, yeah, honestly, the first season was a bit of a, a rough start because, I mean, every first season is a rough start, even for some of the best shows you'll watch, or some of the best series that you, that you put out. Like that Mortal Kombat logo that I did as the first entry. Yeah, it's, that's definitely not the work of a professional. But if you've seen the video, you you obviously sat through the explanations about the series. The Devil May Cry one was okay, but I should have planned that a little more thoroughly. Because I definitely did not plan that as effectively as I should have. And you know, some people still enjoyed it. The God of War sketch? Oh my god, dude, don't get me fucking started on the God of War sketch. That is literally one of my worst videos in season one. Like, like I'm in this God of War group, right? And I would show them, I like I sent them the link to this, to this episode, and they fucking laughed at me, cause, you know, I went back and I watched it, and I was like, wow, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> like, you know, with with my series, like, all I use is Blake drawing pencils. I don't use color. I use only different shades of black, gray, whatever the color is. So, and you know how fucking hard it is to draw Kratos in black and white? It's fucking impossible. Because the dude has white skin, he has black hair, and he has red markings on his body. So, so it's like, how are you going to differentiate that in different shadings without making it look like... A fucking great value Picasso piece. For me, I absolutely no fucking way I was gonna be able to do that. I butchered that video so fucking badly. But yet I put it out there anyways because I was like, minimal effort. This is not a professional piece, a professional esque piece. So who fucking cares? And then the fourth and second to last entry that I did for the first season was the custom Breaking Bad poster that I had wanted to do for so fucking long. And bear in mind when I say this, realism is not my specialty. I suck so fucking bad at doing realistic drawings. And how it is that people enjoyed my sketch of that, because I actually included Brian Cranston as Walter's face in the right, right inside of the piece. Like, you actually thought that was good? Holy fuck, man. That means a lot because, you know, during during the drawing class that I had taken in college, like, we would have to, like, draw our classmates from, from our point of view. And when I did, holy shit, they would come out looking like shit, so. My confidence was not the very highest when I did that, when I did that poster. But the people that... I showed the video to we're like this is fucking great and I almost I almost cried I'm not gonna bullshit you because you know like I said realistic sketches are not are not my forte and then I ended that first season with the Bojack portrait that I did for like I said the final season so 
That was surprising. That one surprisingly turned out as, as well as well, actually better than I had hoped it would, because you know, truthfully, I thought it was pretty spot on. A couple people were like, "Is he supposed to look hammered?" Yeah, it's, it's, it's based off the the picture that I referenced. So I was pretty confident about those last two pieces. Those were definitely the actually those are the highlights of the entire series. Both the first and second seasons. As far as the second season go, I'd probably say that, you know, the beerest piece that I did this past season was probably the best one. Right next to the Kamamura piece. Cause Alright, I'm gonna admit something right quick. The Kamamura piece was a redo of an old sketch that I did for my drawing class. Because I had this I had the sketchbook assignment to do where I needed like 50 pieces for the entire semester. I didn't get the 50, but I still, I still regretted pretty well for it. One of those pieces was was that same picture of Komamura. But my dumbass used a mechanical pencil for that whole assignment, so you can just imagine how fucking garbage it looked, as opposed to this one, where it's actually a lot more improved. You can tell the different shadings, the different linings, everything. Yeah, I'm def I definitely wasn't proud of that piece for my um, for my sketchbook assignment, but hey, can't complain. But yeah, like I said, you know, when, whenever I whenever I do big projects like these, I'm always afraid of like, is this gonna take off? Is this gonna tank? Or will, or is it ever gonna see the light of day? Cause I get really fucking nervous about projects like these. Shit, I was, I was a little nervous to do these let's plays because, you know, my gaming channel hasn't really gotten much traction ever since, um, the Mortal Kombat X playthroughs. But you gotta understand, Mortal Kombat X was incredibly popular when it first released. So of course people are gonna watch you play that shit because it's fucking groundbreaking for its time. But nonetheless. You know, I, I took off with this pro with this project idea. People seem to enjoy it, so that's personally, I think that's all that matters. And I cannot wait to do season three, which you can expect sometime next year. But I won't go into details about that because that would just be spoiling it. But I do have another fun project lined up in the months after this. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Whatever you were doing. Please subscribe because I still got a couple more of these to do. Thanks.